Now let's see one more example on conditional probability. Let us say we are performing an experiment in which we are going to flip three coins. Then what is the sample space? The sample space for these three coins is going to be, see each coin can have head or tails. Let us say all the coins are fair. Then we are going to have eight events, right? Or eight outcomes. So all can be head or head, head, tails or head, tail, head or head tail tail or tail head head or tail head tail or tail tail head or tail 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 right all are eight so all these eight are possible so initially what happens to the probabilities uh, the probabilities are all going to be one by eight isn't it now let us say an event has already occurred e is an event that at least it is already known that at least one of them is turned out to be head or let us say at least two of them is turned out to be head which means e is an event in which two of them has turned out to be head so what what do i mean by that e will contain all this at least two of them have turned out to be head right now let us say f is an event in which at least one of them turned out to be a uh, tail okay at least one of them turned out to be tail so it is going to contain all this I think except one chance we are going to have all this right so except this all are possible here right so what is it e is an event that at least two of the coins have showed up heads and f is a uh, f is an event that at least one of the coin showed up tails now if it is asked that what is the probability that e given f which means if it is already given that at least one of the coins has turned up tails what is the probability that two coins have showed heads how can you solve it again the same we can use this formula e intersection f divided by p of f now what is what is in the intersection of these two so how many is going to be present in the intersection so hhh -h -h is not present right and hhh -h -t, yes it is present this is present and then this is present H -h, it is present right therefore intersection is going to be 3 so 3 by 8 why 3 by 8 because originally all of them are having 1 by 8 probability therefore if we have 3 points then they are going to have 3 by 8 divided by p of f p of f is going to be 7 by 8 which is nothing but 3 by 7 got it now if you want to understand it using our other developed theory that changing the probabilities and finding out what is required then also you can do it the same so how can we do that already f has occurred what does it mean there is at least one tail so all the elements which does not contain tails should be eliminated or assigned a probability zero which means by this we get this one as zero and all the others will get the equal probability how many elements are there seven elements therefore each one is going to get equal probability of 1 by 7 isn't it 1 by 7 1 by 7 1 by 7 so on now we have to choose uh, the events in which at least two are heads so how many are there this one has to be chosen 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 that's it all right so out of these four events one has got zero and the other three has got one by seven as the probability therefore it is going to be three by seven right so either you go by that theory or with this one both are same now the other one is probability of f given e which means if it is already known that two of the coins have showed up heads then what is the probability that one of them is at least tail at least uh, there is at least one tail you know in the, in one of the in, in the three in the three coins how can you do it again the same one p of e intersection f divided by p of e right then what is it just uh, just check this it is going to be 3 by 8 divided by how much is it p of e is going to be 
so what how, how many elements are there here it is 1 2 3 4 right 3 by 8 which is nothing okay 4 by 8 which is nothing but 3 by 4 got it so one thing you should observe is p of e intersection f is common it is same right so what is changing uh, p of f is changing and p of e given f is changing and p of e is changing and p of f given e is changing right or even from these two you can also derive some something again later i'm going to show you this but since we are doing he it here you can observe one thing here from these two you can see that p of e intersection f equal to p of f into p of e given f or p of e into p of f given e which means from these two from this formula and from this formula you can do like this p of e intersection f equal to p of e into p of f given e also this is equal to p of f into p of e given f right so how if you want to see it you can just check this one so in this case what is p of e p of e happened to be 4 by 8 right and what is p of f given e p of f given e happened to be 3 by 4 right and what about this p of f p of f happened to be 7 by 8 and what about p of e given f p of e given f happened to be 3 by 7 okay you can check that both are equal so later we shall see this you can you can leave it out for now so what i mean to say is you know either you can go with this method or you can go with this method so if this is given you go with like this if this is given you go like this so one thing you have to observe is what is given that is going to be uh, forming the sample space why is this so see what is given is going to form the sample space why is this so because if it is already some event is already given see originally our sample space is this right and now if an event is already given that it has happened then what does it mean from the original sample space our new sample space will be boiled down to this part okay now when you are talking about the occurrence of other other event let's say other event is this this is e is ha already happened and f right now we are interested in this part right so now the entire probability boils down to this sample space and then finding out the probability of this part given that this part has happened okay if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan Getting education loan is very simple these days. 
and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni so now you might ask why we should join game of visas so the answer is we have 90 percent success rate 99 percent success rate and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to so we guide students to any country that you want to go so now it is not just usa we guide to uk germany australia canada so we guide we guide students to all the countries we work with all the destinations and if you are interested in going abroad you have to just drop us a message on this whatsapp number 9494555454 okay thank you